Okay, so I have been using the OnePlus Watch 2 right here for just about a week now. And I gotta say, everything that we've heard about battery life when it comes to the OnePlus Watch 2 right here is true. I gotta tell you guys, battery life here on the OnePlus Watch 2 has just been so, so good. And you know, I didn't charge it right out of the box. I did use it, you know, for a couple of days before finally charging it to a full 100%. And then off of that one single charge, I was able to get just a little over four days of usage. And what I have been using this watch for is tracking my steps. Of course, it does that automatically for me. Been using it to, you know, check notifications, message back from this watch right here, whether it's, you know, text messages or emails. I've even used it to answer a few phone calls. I've used it to watch a couple of YouTube videos using the browser on this watch right here. I did download the Samsung internet browser because that's the one I found through, you know, the, the Play Store. I was able to download that and use that to watch YouTube videos on this watch right here. So that's pretty nice as well. It's also been tracking my sleep, which I feel it does a pretty accurate job at doing at least for me I mean I don't know exactly when I fall asleep because I'm kind of just laying there but when I wake up it does tell me how long I was sleeping for so that's always a nice little feature as well now, I do got to say that I was using the always on display a little bit during the first day but then decided to turn it off because I noticed that I didn't really have a need for it I mean it's nice it's a nice feature of course but I also have the uh what is it turn your wrist to wake feature on so when i turn my wrist to look at my watch it's already going to have that display on anyways so i can see whatever it is i'm seeing or you know do whatever it is i'm going to do i really didn't feel a need for that always on display so i went ahead and turned that off and that's probably one big reason why the battery life lasted as long as it did because i wasn't you know constantly using that always on display but battery life a little over four days of usage and like i said that's with me doing everything that i mentioned and not only that i've also been using it to heavily track my exercises as well they got a full list of different workouts you can track different exercises or just an overall uh kind of workout you know timer as well so i've been using that to track my exercises as well and not only that but you know when i'm sitting down on the couch with my soon-to-be three-year-old son Sometimes he's playing on my watch. He just likes to mess around on it, you know, scroll back and forth. A lot of the times he's messing with the heart rate sensor. So he likes to measure my heart rate. Sometimes he'll set timers on my watch without me even knowing, change up the watch face. So a lot is being done by him as well whenever we are sitting on the couch together. Like he, he just likes to play around with my watch sometimes. But a lot is being done on this watch right here and I am getting some great battery life. No, this is not a full review yet, but I did want to update you guys on battery life because I have been finding it to be really, really good. And then on top of that, we are still getting, just like with their OnePlus 12 and 12R, that SuperVoot charging, they have also brought that to the OnePlus Watch 2 right here. We do get some SuperVoot charging as well. So we're getting some very fast charging. So even when the battery does run out, we don't have to wait a long time before charging it up to 100% again. You just simply throw it on the charger. It's gonna get that SuperVoot charge going. Honestly, I really didn't, uh, keep a timer on how long or how quickly this watch charged. I'm going to have to do that and I will, you know, cover that in my full review, but I do know that it was pretty fast. I threw it on the charger and it seemed like, uh, like that it was done. I wasn't really paying attention, like I said, but I do know that charging seemed very fast on this watch right here. Now I am thinking about doing my not, I wouldn't say one of my all day battery drain tests, like what I do with my smartphones, I would have to probably say like, you know, a full week's battery drain test, but you know, I real life battery drain test. I've been thinking doing about doing a video like that with the OnePlus Watch 2 right here. That way I can share my usage throughout each day, let you know exactly when I take it off the charger and then let you know exactly when the battery is about to die. So you can see exactly how long this watch can last. Of course, with my own personal usage, everybody's usage is different. I mean, but the, for the most part, I mean, battery life is great, but let me know if you guys want to see that video. I'm thinking about doing it. I'm not really sure yet. That's why I kind of wanted to do this update video uh, to see if maybe you guys would be interested in that. But overall, battery life has been great. And just the overall experience with the OnePlus Watch 2 right here has been great. Honestly, I have really been enjoying it. And I just love the way it looks. It's got a nice, nice look to it. Very premium look to it. And the strap is actually very comfortable as well. Although I am thinking about purchasing, uh, you know, some other straps that I can use because this green obviously doesn't go with everything, even though I'm really liking this green strap right here. It's not going to go with everything that you wear. But this is just a quick update on battery life with the OnePlus Watch 2. Again, amazing battery life. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. If you do have a OnePlus Watch 2 for yourself, how's battery life treating you? How's your overall experience 
been. And if you do find yourself interested in the OnePlus Watch 2 right here, I'll make sure to have a link down in the description below as well so you can check one out for yourself. But thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.